Hi, I'm Alex Shuka, CTO at Draytech UK and Ireland, and today I've managed to grab one of our new Vigor 2865 units so that I can do an unboxing and show you what's in the contents. The 2865 is our DSL router and firewall. It's multi-WAN, so it can connect to either DSL or Ethernet WAN, or it's also got LT with this variant. So let's take a look at what's in the box. So here, there's lots of compartments. Let's first take a look at the power supply. Um, it's a 30 watt power supply, so it's a little bit more powerful than the 2862 product that it replaced. So if you are replacing the product, just bear that in mind when you are, make sure you use the new power supply. So here's the product, let's just get it out of its packaging. So this is the uh, 2865 LAC, so this means that it's got LTE and wireless. So let's take a look at the uh, front panel. So if we play spot the difference to the 2862 series, the first thing you'll notice is there's the DSL port on the far right hand side uh, and also you've got an additional LAN port. So working through we've got five LAN ports and then the sixth port here is the WAN2 port but you can also change that to be port 6 on the LAN side if you don't need to use it as a WAN port. Then we've got USB, which can be used for either a USB storage as a USB mobile broadband dongle, or uh, you can connect it to a USB printer. Then we've got our nine LEDs to show you the status of various things on the system, and we've got a factory reset button, and then a uh, on-off button for the wireless that you can disable to prevent anyone disconnecting it uh, accidentally. So that's the, the front panel. Uh, something I'd like to show you is how you can also wrap mount the kit, because we've got this uh, wrap mount bracket that's an optional extra. So you can uh, connect that into the unit using these, um, the little groove here fits quite nicely into the rack mount kit that allows you to then put it into a 19 inch rack, which is quite nice. So uh, let's just take it out of there and then let's take a look at the rest of the stuff that's in the box. So we'll look underneath this flap, I can see we've got the quick start guide. So details on how to do all the installation and there's some references to all of the panels and LED statuses. We've got a catalog and ah, the aerials. So we've got uh, a couple of black ones and a couple of white ones. These uh, are for the wireless, this is for the Wi-Fi. They go to the two outside. So we'll take a look here. We've got these two ex here are for wireless LAN, so the two white connections, and the two central ones are for the LT for mobile broadband, so those to connect to there. They're slightly different connections, you can't get them mixed up, but it's good to look at, there's a label here, that wireless LAN and LTE to help you uh, with the differences on the two. Uh, what else do we have? We've got a uh, wall bracket and a little post-it note. So what else? Ah, oh, here we have the LT extension cables. There's two of them here. So these are really useful uh, because if you're mounting the product inside of a rack, you find that the aerials will be in the, at the center of it and might be impeded in their signal. So by connecting them to these extension cables and mounting this on the outside of the rack, it increases the signal strength. So that increases the speed you'll get on the mobile broadband. And one of the nice things about this is it's magnetic. So if I just show you using this, it sticks to the outside so you can quite easily mount that on the outside of a rack uh, and then put that, feed it through into the uh, router and it then gets a better signal strength which is, is quite useful. So what else do we have? We've got the RJ11 cable and an RJ45 cable here and um, that's it. So that's everything that's in the box. I hope you enjoyed uh, taking a look at everything that's in the 2865 LAC and thank you very much for watching.